You know, this idea of style is a really sort of wily creature. It's hard to get your hands around it. It's very elusive. Um, style, well, are you born with it? Do you develop it? It's that nature nurture thing. I think that we're all born with a modicum of style. We all have personal style and you can develop it. And so I try to encourage people to develop their own personal style. And this kitchen is an expression of my style. It's a farmhouse kitchen, and I wanted to have elements of that, but I wanted it very classic, and I wanted to have elements of old, and also wanted to have elements that felt really modern. I just want to talk about how this kitchen and this room comes together. You see, the principal colors here, and color is very important to me, wrote a color book, you know, so I did basically all white. And what you'll see is there are two shades of white. The, the cabinets themselves are a little warmer white. All the trim is a little brighter white, a little cooler white. And then there's green on the beadboard that runs all the way around the ceiling. The ceiling is uh, divided. You can see how it's chopped up, if you will, with, with rafters. These really don't support anything, but again, I wanted to have that farmhouse look. So you see these chamfered beams that run across. In between are lights. And I know it looks like some kind of lunar landing pad because there's 17 lights in this kitchen. And I know that's excessive, but the reason is that we do a lot of taping of shows and a lot of uh, photography in here, so I wanted plenty of light. Now, let's talk about the windows since we're talking about light. I have five windows in this house and one at the door there. So I wanted light to flood in here. You walk in this kitchen in the morning when the sun's up, you don't need coffee. I mean, the light hits you and you're just ready to go. But what I wanted to do with these windows is I wanted a very simple window treatment. So we have Roman shades done in just a basic linen. And that linen is a soft green that echoes the color that I painted the walls. Okay, so let's talk about finishes for just a moment because I think they really help bring the sort of spirit and warmth of this kitchen together. If you look at the countertops, I use two types of marble. One for this big piece of marble. I'm going to tell you, this is a massive one slab piece of marble. It took six men and a boy to move this thing in here. And then I've got a different type over here. And I wanted this marble to feel like, you know, like an old fashioned drugstore countertop where you go in and get a soda or a float or something like that. And the other finishes, we talked about the paint. The appliances are enameled white and stainless steel. The floor itself, these are pine boards. They're about eight inches wide with a tongue oil finish on them. Very, very basic. And then if you look at the sinks, I wanted to make sure that we had farmhouse sinks, which just simply means that they're double and they're really deep. So you can wash a lot of dishes in this kitchen. deep sinks and double dishwashers. I mean, when it's a mess, it doesn't, it's not a kitchen anymore, it's a bitchin'. So uh, that, it's a large space, but I, but I love it. Let's talk about some of the decorative objects in here. The theme here is that I have a series of all kinds of ironstone and uh, white porcelain, all in, uh, yes, I mean, some of it's from junk shops, some of it's pretty good, uh, some of it's brand new, a lot of it's vintage and it's all mixed up together. And then I've got, I've got this chicken and egg thing going. I've got this big rooster over here that I love. And there's egg motifs on some of the containers that hold some of the accoutrement for cooking. And then I've got egg holders with eggs from our hens here at the farm. So the idea here is to have a farm theme, build it out in a really fresh and modern way. And it's really a joy to spend time in this space. I, I really do love it. So you can see some of this whiteware that I've used in this window. I like this deep sill so I can put vases and you know, I'll, I'll do cut flowers out of the garden. I'll even put pots of little herbs so I can use the clip or I'll even cut herbs like fresh cut flowers and put them here in the window and so they're here to use for cooking. It's really, really great. Now come over here, I wanna show you something. This adds a little more soul to it. It's another finish of the house. You know, this is a brick house and it's lime washed on the outside. But what this implies is that this room, this kitchen was actually added on to this 1840s house. It was added on maybe in 1900. 
So you see the exterior wall of the house here, which I really think adds a, a, a lovely sort of texture to it. And when people come here, they go, is that the original wall of the house? I go, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, of course this house is only like four years old. If you've enjoyed these style tips, tell a friend and make sure you subscribe to eHow Homes.